The wait is over. Big Ten competition is in full bloom for the Rutgers men's and women's basketball teams. The head coaches, Eddie Jordan, a campus legend and former NBA coach, and C. Vivian Stringer, a basketball Hall of Famer, continue to lead their respective programs with class and dignity. Coming up, we challenge the men's team with the most difficult questions they've ever been asked. That's tough. Uh, duh. And learn how they made one of the most important decisions in their lives. Then we'll spend some time with the always electric Tyler Scaife, a one-of-a-kind junior who can always be counted on to make that big shot. And in the Big Ten, you're always facing the best, but you don't always have the luxury of the home court advantage. The RU women travel to Columbus before returning home to face Illinois. Stay tuned. You're watching the Rutgers Basketball Story. I got drafted after my senior year, Cleveland Cavaliers. It's funny because growing up as a teenager, my, my idols were Walt Frazier, who played for the Knicks, and Austin Carr, who was from Washington, D.C., played for Notre Dame, and one of the best high, uh, college players in the country and of all time. And I got drafted by Cleveland, and they were both were my teammates. So uh, you know, my, both my idols in the locker room with me as a, fresh, as a rookie. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Uh, I played seven years in the NBA. I led the league in steals with the Nets <clears throat> for two years and then uh, won a championship with the Lakers in 82. So after seven years of playing in the NBA, uh, I've always wanted to coach, always wanted to coach ever since ninth grade. So I'd never missed a day. I took a red eye out of Portland, of my last team, took a red eye out of Portland, ran, landed in Newark that next morning, and went to a Rutgers practice at 11 o'clock um, for Tom Young, who was my coach, who said, come on, we'll start your coaching career. So that was great. Who would on the team would you let date your sister? Nobody. No one. Who on the team would you let date your sister? No one. No one. No. Just no. I don't have a sister, so I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> They're my teammates. I live with these dudes, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's my answer, though. No. DJ Foreman, your no, best friend, Corey no, Sanders, is that no, guy that you no. can't date your sister. Nah, slow. <laughs> if she was older. No. <laughs> what I let date my sister. Um, probably none of them. Uh, <laughs> you gotta name somebody? Jake Dadica, he's a nice, respectable young guy. <laughs> I can't name anybody, man. <laughs> no, I can't name anybody. Not on this team. Uh, Greg. Greg. I just feel like this was the best place for me to come kind of make a name for myself and uh, try to, you know, make an impact on the school. You know, people always go to, uh, you know, these programs that I've already, you know, been built into, you know, powerhouse and stuff like that. And I just want to go somewhere where, um, you know, I can try to make an impact, you know, get involved with, you know, these good coaches that we have and, uh, you know, 
know, try to make the team better. I mean, it's a great experience. You come in here, you meet a whole bunch of people from a whole bunch of different places, you know. It's not like you're in Florida and then just everybody's from Florida. You meet people from Minnesota, California, Seattle. It's, it's a great experience. I mean, it's just fun. One, because of Eddie Jordan, um, great coach, has a lot of um, accolades on his resume. And um, just having the connections and, and, and being a good coach he was, so it seemed like the best fit for me. Well, I felt like it was a great opportunity, you know, not far from home, you know, um, playing in one of the best conferences in the nation in the, with the Big Ten. And Rutgers is a great academic school, so I figured why not. When I came here to visit, uh, a team looked like a really a family. They like embraced me immediately. And Coach Jordan did like, yeah, he's just the man. I like, I like him, so he really got me here too. When I was talking to him and the way he explained everything to me, we just really, really So when we circle up, you are a performer. How can I help the team? How can I help my teammates? It's not about me. It's about helping my team. Uh, just location-wise, um, I also wanted to be a part of something that's um, part of something special. Um, I knew it was is in a rebuilding process and I want to be a, be a part of something great. First for the visitors from Piscataway, Corey Sanders, the freshman leading all freshmen of the conference in scoring. He also leads all players in the conference in terms of steals. They will need a big game from Corey Sanders on the road tonight. Wednesday night in Columbus, the Rutgers men enjoyed a terrific first half against Ohio State. For three from the wing, good sign early for Rutgers. He can knock that down 35%. And it was freshman sensation, Corey Sanders, who stole the show. Sanders again knocks it down and a foul. Sanders, who leads all Big Ten freshmen in scoring, fired in 17 points in the first 20 minutes. The kid from Lakeland, Florida, was six for eight from the field, including four of six from trifecta land. Sanders off the crossover and the three. Now the freshman having fun tonight in Columbus. He's at four threes. He has 15 points, and Rutgers leads by five. Watch the crossover by Corey Sanders. Showing you everything in his offensive arsenal. Daniels catches, has to fire. Lay the shot clock and nails from well beyond three-point land. Deep three for Daniels. Rutgers by one. DJ Foreman added seven points, and Bishop Daniels had five points and five rebounds as the Scarlet Knights opened up an eight-point lead just two minutes before intermission. He's there on the block. Four minutes that Sanders open look for three, knocks down his third three tonight. Rutgers led by two at the break, but could not keep the good times rolling in the second half. Still, it was a courageous showing on the road for the injury riddled Scarlet Knights, who put a scare into the Buckeyes and showed once again they will not go down without a fight. Celebrity crush. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, man, I got a ton of those, man. Uh, duh. That's a good one. Uh, there's a lot of them. I would say celebrity crush. Mm. Mm, that's tough, because there's so many, there's so many beautiful celebrities out there. Like, it's just hard to, to, to pick one. Make good. Uh, Margaret Ruby. Angela Simmons. Mm. Beyonce, uh, okay, there you go. Uh, probably Taraji P. Henson. I have a girlfriend, she gonna see this, I, I can't really say it. <laughs> Lauren London. Lauren London, she's just beautiful. Lauren London, if you see, if you ever see this, you know I'll marry you right now. You gotta let her know. At the end of the day, like I have standards, I don't discriminate. There's just so many beautiful women out there. Let's just say all beautiful celebrities, you're all my women crush, I guess. Daniels with 10 to shoot with the left hand drive off the glass and in. 
Uh, he's got he's got point guard vision and shooting guard skills. Pick and roll works well on the receiving end, DJ Foreman. Floats one that misses. Laurent gets the rebound. The putback for Jonathan Laurent. It's losing streak. Bounce pass inside. Great feed from Sanders on the feed to the other freshman, Jonathan Laurent. Rutgers takes the lead. Why do we huddle? It's not about me. It's about helping my team. Leave everything outside, leave your personal things outside. This is what it's all about. The Rutgers basketball story is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health care provider of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. As the lights faded before game time, the Scarlet Knights prepared for a tough matchup. Away games are always an extra challenge, and in the Big Ten, every team has their own unique traditions and fans. Coach Stringer's fans are nationwide, and when facing a team ranked in the top five, it takes the whole team to do their part. Plus a little bit of magic from Kalia Copper, who had her sixth double-double of the season, and a big night from Tyler Scaife, who scored a team-high 27 points her best output of the season. However, Rutgers' top-ranked defense struggled against the Buckeyes, who enjoyed an outstanding shooting night in Columbus. The Scarlet Knights put together a stunning second-half comeback one built on teamwork and determination as they cut a 23-point third-quarter deficit down to 10 midway through the fourth quarter. That's what you would expect from a team coached by C. Vivian Stringer. Quality performance comes in many forms, and on this night, it was not judged by the result on the scoreboard. It was reflected in the effort, the camaraderie, and the unwavering spirit of the ball club. It was by the overall focus and the commitment to each other on being true to yourself and your teammates. There will be other opportunities, other long trips across the country with different results. But on this night, it was about the process and the continuing evolution of a team with big aspirations and a team willing to take the necessary steps to reach those goals. The road is full of twists and turns with lessons to be learned and to be savored. But one thing these women have to admit, as they headed back east, there's no place like home. Let's go back to Scape. Well, if you're not gonna come out and contest that shot high and hard, Scape will make you pay, but you have to give her space because of her explosiveness. So it's pick your poison in defending Tyler Scape. Tyler Scape, number three. I started playing basketball underneath the bridge and with my brother, and we used to just play all night, all day, and that's when I kind of first started playing basketball. I just love basketball. Like, I like being around it. I like learning. Um, I just like being in the gym. It's just something about it that I just love, so I just stay in the gym. 
I got my first offer like eighth grade summer from Oklahoma State University. And then I kind of started getting a little good. So then I started getting more offers in like Tennessee and LSU. And then Rutgers came into the picture like my junior year. And I took a couple of unofficials up here, fell in love with the coach, the players, and the campus, and I just committed. I really like the family vibe because I'm a big family person. Everybody was, you know, in tune with each other. Here we go, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Tyler's crazy. Tyler's crazy. But she is a great, she is a great player. Rutgers with a big contribution once again from their big two. We're talking Tyler Scape and Kalia Copper. I love her. She's always, we spend a lot of time together, whether it's just out, even outside of basketball. We, we hang out in my room and we'll just watch TV or something and then we'll just come to the gym late at night and shoot. But me and Tyler are pretty close. Sixty-four teams started, 63 games later, Rutgers comes up on top, a perfect 6-0 run through the postseason women's NIT. I don't think no one in the country can stop Tyler. Only the person that can stop Tyler is herself. I'm Tyler Scape from Rutgers Women's Basketball. You're watching the Rutgers Basketball Story. With a strong performance against Ohio State already a distant memory, the Scarlet Knights returned to the Rutgers Athletic Center for another conference matchup. Illinois looked for their first ever win against Coach Stringer's squad and tried to avenge last season's loss to the Scarlet Knights, which was highlighted by a 21-point performance from Tyler Scaife. But there was no such luck for the fighting Illini. Rutgers hungry for a win put on a shooting clinic that absolutely burned the nylon nets. Shooting 55% in the first half, the home team opened up a lead they would never relinquish. Kalia Copper had 15 points and 11 rebounds, while Rachel Holloway was unstoppable with 14 points and 14 boards. The dueling double-doubles helped propel the Scarlet Knights to their eighth consecutive home court victory. Once again, Illinois caught Tyler Scaife at the wrong time. Number three scorched the Fighting Illini to the tune of 27 points on toward 11 for 14 shooting from the field. She played all 40 minutes. By virtue of the win, Rutgers upped their record to 12 and five overall at three and two in the Big Ten. And they did it by playing superbly on both ends of the floor. Nice to have a little home cooking before the road beckons again with back-to-back -back contests away from the rack this coming week. time that Rutgers was a sleeping giant.
The Big Ten road is bumpy, often unpaved, and always difficult. But that's what makes the challenge formidable and the journey invigorating. Hard work fuels success, and adversity asks these student athletes to stay strong. The tenacity and determination these knights carry with them is a great reflection on this great university. Shot clock down to three. A wild shot that somehow falls down for Rutgers. by an elite coaching staff and loyal New Jersey fans, the sky's the limit for these Scarlet Knights. Founded before America's revolution. Birthplace of college football. Transforming the arts, humanities, teaching, thinking, research. It's where we are, where we've been, where we're headed, always forward. Rutgers, revolutionary for 250 years.